What's going on everybody? Emmett Ferguson here and this is the video series on solving these Hanayama cast puzzles. Now these are great puzzles if you're looking for a gift for him or even for her if you know they're very hands-on or they just want some items that you can possibly collect over time. And these are really elegant little pieces. They're the cast, they're very high quality as you can hear. You can hear the quality of this puzzle simply by listening to me jingle it. And in the previous videos I've done the unboxing in these puzzles, they last anywhere from five minutes to uh, 25 minutes, or even actually uh, there were some puzzles, uh, the ones where, I, where you had to put many pieces back together. Those take me a little longer, but you know, those puzzles have taken me as uh, long as an hour and a half. So with this puzzle, we're gonna go ahead and get into solving it here in a moment, but great gift items. And especially if you have a lot of guests over or if you have an office where you just want to keep little fun toys around for your co-workers to try out and test their test their wits on this is a great uh, great little gift for you and with that I'm gonna go ahead and get started and let's see how long this takes we'll record this from the beginning and test this out back together which you know this is this is two hours or an hour and a half later of trying to play with this thing I actually solved it off camera and I came back to to do it again All right, everybody. So after a couple hours of actually playing with this and trying to figure it all out, at least to, to make sure that I didn't solve it simply because of luck, which would mean, you know, if anyone else tried to solve it, I wouldn't be spending another five hours trying to explain it. Um, so the solution is pretty simple, but it's really tricky. And it seems like they made each of these parts, the secret comes with these parts and this little section right here, this little gap right here. The bottom gap closest to the top of the head. And basically, what you need to do is you need to get these pieces to go like this. So you have to get it into this position. Get it into a position where both of these knobs come through. And then you have to slide it down one and then make it so it pushes through here. Now obviously you could tell it's not working. It's not being pushed through here. It's just almost, um, cause you need to get these two to go, to cross these perpendicularly. So the only way to do that is literally to make them pass through this little part right here. But here's the tricky part is that not all of these ends are the same length for some so they made it really tricky i don't know of any hints there's this thing that says nob right here i don't know what that means but basically it's super tricky because not all of these are the same length so you have to play around with it and you have to slide it around back and forth to find out exactly which one which lengths are not the same and then eventually once you reach that point you get to a point where you can, where you can actually just slide it through just like so. So this, will, as you can see right here, it goes right on through because it's smaller. And then once you reach this point, you can see how easy it is already. Um, you, you got this point right here where these pieces are perpendicular 
and then you basically just slide these around and it comes right apart. And that is the elk puzzle everybody, elk puzzle by Hanayama. But here's the thing is you do have to put it back together which was why this was so frustrating. It took me quite a while to put it back together too. So, you know, getting it to come back together is really easy. But bringing it back to position one is a little bit tricky. So basically you have to do the same thing. You gotta make, put it to the top to slide it. So you have to find which side slides correctly. And as you can see right now, that neither of these sides is going to go through. So you have to play around and figure out, I must have switched, the, switched these somehow, so I gotta go back the other way. I didn't even realize I was doing it. So you slide these under, get that under, and then now you push that down, and see, it goes through. It slides right on through. This little piece right here goes right through and these pop right back up, go into the first position or you can even go to a more difficult position like this. And that is the puzzle everybody. So um, the solution's so simple. Once you know it, it's as simple as just making one, you could get it done from from this position in as little as like five moves. Five moves, less than five moves. A couple turns and everything. So really surprising. Um, the most difficult thing isn't because this is actually a complicated puzzle. It's mainly because it's so difficult to tell which one of these is the smaller piece and which one of these openings is right. So you have to play around with like four, four different combinations to make sure that it works. And with that, everybody, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out the Hanayama Puzzle Elk piece. This is definitely one that took a quite a bit of time, a level 6 out of 6. It was not very easy. I've definitely done a level 4 puzzle. It was definitely a moderate level of difficulty, but 1, 2, 3, I haven't even bothered you with yet because I've tried some of their uh, lower level puzzles and they were uh, not too difficult. So. Uh, if you've done a lot of puzzles, definitely you could jump up there, or if you just want to collect them, you could take uh, all of them. But with that, this is the Hanayama Puzzles a series by Be Puzzled, the Cast Puzzle. This is the Elk Puzzle. As you can see, there are some elk on it, and it has something to do with their antlers and everything. And with that, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and stay tuned for future videos.